How's it going guys? My name is Sam and in this week's video we are doing a review of the Gunfighter IFAC from Live the Creed. Alright, so this kit is made by Live the Creed, which is the same company that makes my pocket trauma kit that I've been carrying with me if I'm wearing shorts in the summer, goes in my back pocket. However, the Gunfighter IFAC is more of their overt kit, and primarily it's made for a tactical application, whether that's on a battle belt or plate carrier. That being said, this can be used as a car kit, home kit, um, some other place where you need stop the bleed supplies, because honestly the supplies in here are pretty standard when it comes to trauma management. The outside of the kit is a Cordura laminate, and then you have Hypolon uh, backing here. Now on the back, you can put some malice clips through here if you do want to mount it to a vest or something with molly attachments. I will also say that this has a belt loop here that you can thread this through pretty much any size belt if you want to put it through a duty belt or if you have a thinner uh, battle belt, this will fit onto that just fine. On the front, you have a loop field uh, that you can put some kind of identification patch. They do send you their little medical patch here that's red uh, that you can stick right on the front. On the base of this kit, you have a tourniquet holder. So it does not have room for a cat tourniquet on the inside. They put it on the outside, which works fine. However, be aware that this has an increased risk of falling out and potential damage to the tourniquet, although this holder keeps it in there pretty snug, so I'm not too concerned about that. This is stitched onto the bottom, so you don't have to worry about this coming off necessarily. I will mention that these kits are all handmade in Idaho, so if USA made items, and especially handmade items, mean a lot to you, uh, this might be a kit that you should look at picking up because it, it is very high quality. Now, as we open the kit up, it has this pull tab here, um, you know, this seems pretty sturdy. I'm not really worried about this ripping. I will say that these little striations on the front, which are stylistic in nature, I feel like these might cause some issues if they get snagged on something. I don't really foresee that happening, um, but you know, they're trying to make the kit look a little bit better because let's be honest here, this is not the best looking trauma kit on the market. That being said, looks do not matter when it comes to this kind of thing, only functionality. So it does make it look a little bit better, a little bit cooler, but I do worry that these might be a snag point. Coming into the kit itself, you open this up and then you have another handle right here that you can actually pull to take the main contents of the kit out of this bag. So this will remain on your belt or plate carrier, whatever it is, and allow you to access your medical equipment and get it in front of you. So if we open this up, this is once again the Cordura laminate. It has two hook loop closures and then folds out just like this. What I really like about this kit is how simple this is put together. It doesn't feel like the supplies are jam packed in here. It doesn't feel like things do not have enough room. It's very purpose built for what they wanted to put in this kit. And it does come with some supplies that are not commonly found in a bleeder kit or a tactical kit, which I really do enjoy. So in this top pocket here, as it comes out, it will open up if you pull it out with some force, it'll open up for you so you don't have to do um, a second motion to get it to expand. In the top two elastic loops, you have a space blanket. I've talked about this a lot on this channel is that uh, hypothermia kills in trauma. Even mild hypothermia is a huge problem. So I really like that they've put this in here because this will allow you to keep your patient warm until you get EMS on scene or somebody else to get them to definitive care. So it's great that there's a space blanket here. Be aware that because this is a space saving space blanket, you will need to insulate this if you are in a very cold environment. You might wanna bundle your patient up with clothes or a sleeping bag and then put this around them. Uh, it's not so great as a standalone object. Next to that, we have a trauma bandage. So this is just a pressure bandage that's very, very tightly rolled. So that's you know kind of a necessity in any major bleeding kit. This will allow you to keep packed gauze in place um, or stem major bleeding. This particular kit has a hook that you can feed it through and pull back on itself to create more pressure on the wound. So a good thing to have in there and that sits right below your space blanket, very easily accessible. 
On the other side of that same compartment, you just have North American Rescue compressed gauze for wound packing. This can also be used as a wrap if you're not using it for wound packing or a secondary uh, pressure bandage. Below that, you have Cellox gauze. So this is a hemostatic agent. It is the gold standard in hemorrhage control. Um, you know, I've talked about this a lot as well. Your standard gauze will work to pack a wound almost as well as your hemostatic agents. This is best practice, but if you do not have this, you can uh, do well with just regular packing gauze for a wound and it will be almost as effective as that. On the base of this, you have one pair of Talon gloves from North American Rescue. Good to have PPE and you could store two in here or have something else on the other side if you wanted to store something else. There are two loops here and only one's being utilized by the gloves. On the top, you have an MPA, a 28 French MPA. Now this is a very basic airway, it's just to keep the airway open. It doesn't necessarily protect them from regurgitation or any kind of aspiration. But in a combat situation, you can throw one of these in and it's gonna protect their airway or secure their airway for a short period of time until you can get them to definitive care. NPAs can be given to a completely conscious patient, which is why these are kind of becoming the standard and your OPAs, your oropharyngeal airways, are going out of vogue because it doesn't matter if they have a gag reflex or not. Um, the other thing with these is there's a misconception that you can only put NPAs in if they don't have head trauma. If there's massive head trauma and you have like brain matter or CSF leaking from the nose, then you might wanna reconsider putting one of these in. However, in you know fell, hit their head, or isolated head trauma, I would not hesitate to put an NPA in. You can see more about these in my airway management video that I think I did almost a year ago on the channel. You can go back to that. I'll try to leave links to all the videos I'm mentioning in the description below. Below that, you have a hyphen vent chest seal, and this is a twin pack. So these are chest seals that have a vent built into them by North American Rescue. It does come with two for an entrance and an exit wound. Um, it's a good occlusive dressing for that. So I really like that that's in there and that you have two of them uh, for your use. And then last but not least, down below that, you have a small pair of trauma shears. I'm gonna be carrying my own trauma shears, either my Raptors or my X shears. However, if you need something else or you need uh, something in this kit, then this will um, hold these just fine. I'll probably take it out just to save a little bit of space because I'll have my scissors mounted on the outside of the kit. And then of course you have your cat tourniquet or pretty much any tourniquet you wanna store in here, you have that stored below. All in all, this kit has everything you need to manage a trauma patient initially. It's got stuff for heat loss, for chest trauma, major bleeding, and some airway concerns with your NPA, as well as being able to expose the patient and find the injury site. So it is a pretty comprehensive kit when it comes to a small IFAC. One thing I forgot to mention about this kit is if you're more interested in the bag itself and you're less interested in buying supplies with it, you can get this on its own. And what's cool about this kit is that if you wanna overstuff it, so if this thing is over full with your own supplies or if you add a lot to it, you can actually resize the external bag to be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller depending on what your needs are. So this has hook loop closures on either side and you can actually expand it to be able to accept um, this if it's a little bit more uh, full than it comes with originally. So that's kind of a nice feature. Now I will say that this kit is a little bit pricey. It will run you about $179 online. I do have a 10% discount code you can use. I don't get any money from these guys, um, but I do think they're a good company. So it does cost a little bit of money. What you're paying for is a quality kit with supplies that are already curated for you. Now, if you go out and buy these supplies separately, you will save a couple bucks. However, I kind of like buying these full kits because they come ready to go and I don't have to think about it most of the time. Just add a couple things here and there. If you want to buy the bag on its own, that's going to cost you about $70. It's marked down right now from 80 plus. You can get another 10% off if you're looking at buying that. I want to be absolutely clear that I do not get any money from these guys for reviewing these products. Um, you know, these are my honest opinions and I really enjoy this kit. I think it's big. Downsides are that these might catch. It's also a little bit ugly, but like I said, that doesn't really matter. Um, you know, all in all though, it's super solid. It's made in the US. 
Uh, it has a lot of functionality with being able to expand and get actually smaller depending on what you load in here. And then it's very, very neat and organized. I especially like that when you pull it out, you can bring this from behind you and bring all of the supplies up into your field of view instead of having a kit that's fixed um, on the back and having to just kind of go by feel. So I really do enjoy this kit, it has a lot of functionality. If you have any questions about this product or anything else I mentioned, please leave them in the comments down below. I will also leave a link to buy this kit as well as the discount code. If you're looking to fill this with other supplies, I have an affiliate link to Skinny Medic's store. So if you buy from there for some of the supplies, that will actually help the channel out. So I will leave that as well. With all of that being said, I look forward to seeing you guys next week.